So I tried Nutella for the first time. Now I know I'm late to the game on this, but I thought I'd give it a whirl, and just what I thought, it's bullshit. Not that it tastes bad, but it's bullshit. It's American bullshit. See, they all say, oh, it's so good. You gotta try it. It tastes so good. It's so healthy for you. It tastes just like chocolate. There. There it is. It tastes just like chocolate. That's the problem we have in this country. Everything always has to have some chocolate flavor or sugar coating or some bullshit like that. We can't just eat healthy because America. Fat. This is fat culture. You can't just eat a carrot without masking the flavor in ranch dressing. That's why they call it Hidden Valley. Okay? Anything healthy, it just... It doesn't taste good! The fuck? It doesn't taste like chocolate. It's hazelnut. It's not supposed to taste like chocolate. But it's brown. And brown's supposed to taste like chocolate. Listen, shit doesn't taste like chocolate. That's the way it is, so deal with it. Carrots don't taste like orange soda. This country has to have everything covered in sugar. The cereal, the fruits, everything. And here's where we really get messed up. We have to take something that's considered unhealthy like chocolate pudding and we have to try and make it out of something healthy so we can eat it and still taste it and this is the problem i have with vegans they make fake food they ruin everything that ever tasted good ever they try to convince you it's good here just try this go ahead just try this so it tastes good what is it you know you know what it is it's it's a burger. Go on, just try it. You're going to love it. Just try it. Go ahead. It's delicious. Well, what do you think? Tastes like shit! It tastes like mud, you freaking demon. Stop it with your save the animals bullshit, you plant-based bitch. I'd like to slap you across the face with the juiciest, thickest steak you've ever seen. Grill it and make you eat it! Making me eat that compost burger. Get the hell out of here. Take that and your cauliflower mac and cheese too and shove it up your ass. Leave the meat, eggs, cheese, and milk alone. I'm sick of this crap. Trying to make me feel for the animals. Trying to convince me. They're living creatures. They have feelings. They really try to get you there. Make you feel for them? Bullshit. Especially PETA. Fuck PETA. They got that billboard. Where do you draw the line? You seen that shit? Yeah, got a bunch of animals on it. Starts off, all animals want to live. Where do you draw the line? Starts pig, cow, chicken, and then jumps immediately to horse. And it has a bunch of dogs and a cat at the end or something like that. And I draw the line right before horse. Not because I wouldn't eat a horse. I would! But you can't. Trust me, if we could eat it, we would eat it. Somebody tried and failed. You can look at a horse and tell... I don't think I'm supposed to eat that. It's probably like chewing a big ball of muscle. You could just constantly... It's not good. It's like gum. Probably clogs up the system too, I would imagine. Could you imagine the first guy who tried to eat a horse? Like he kills this great big horse, right? Thinking his family's gonna be eating good for the, the next couple weeks or so. Cleans it out. Skins it. Probably took him like 8 to 10 hours. Cooks it. Can't eat it. Well, shit. Now what do I do? I got this great big fucking horse laying here and I can't eat it! We're gonna starve! Sorry kids, didn't know we couldn't have sea biscuit for dinner. There's blood everywhere, there's a dead horse stinking up the house. Coyotes are outside now, circling the property. This door made of straw will never hold them back. They will get in if they want to. It's all over. Shit! I hope I live long enough to let others know that you cannot eat a horse. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Who knows how many times that mistake had to be made before it was finally public knowledge that horse was inedible. So my message to PETA is that if we could eat it, we would eat it. Horse would be a Memorial Day staple. Horse burgers, horse steaks, horse dogs. <laughs> like, on like a... Corn dog stick, probably. Horse kebabs! So we eat cows, chickens, pigs, and fish because we are meant to. Cows, pigs, chickens. 
You want to kill them. You don't eat dogs. You don't want to kill a dog. You hold a gun to his head after he chews up the furniture. You look him once in those puppy dog eyes and you put that gun down and say, no, oh, he's too cute to be killed. Yes, he is. Not the way it works. You know when you're not supposed to kill something. Well, some people do. One thing that should be obvious is that you're not supposed to eat other people. Well, it's, it's not obvious to all of us. Some people think, hmm, this emotional, lovable, beautiful person just entered my life. I should eat them. You gotta be pretty fucked up to eat another person. What's going through their mind when they're chewing on the arm? Start licking their chops every time they see somebody walk by? Or is it just certain people like, you know, is there like an age range or something they pick from? What tastes best and who? 24-year-old Mexican males? I'd like to know. I'm sure it's not 61-year-old plus white women. There's no way, right? What if it's toddlers? I hope not. We've got to fight harder if it is. And if it is, we got to start suggesting other shit to them. Like, here, try some Nutella. Tastes like chocolate. Do they want chocolate-covered people? We'll never know. But that's the problem I have with Nutella and these goddamn vegans and PETA. So subscribe if you hate the fat culture and vegans in this country as I do. Prosper!